Hi guys, thank you so much for watching me. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I want to talk about protection. What is it and how do we do it? Stick around and let's learn some stuff, eh? Okay, first off, what is protection? Protection is keeping ourselves secure, safe, and knowing that everything is going to be okay. It actually comes down to survival in a lot of cases why we do protection right when you walk in you carry an umbrella because that's you protecting you from the rain sort of thing but when we talk spiritualism and energetic energetically I should have said sorry when we start talking energetically we now understand that um, psychic protection keeps away energies okay and it can also assist us to take away entities. So basically I have a video out there if you scroll through my personal development and all my psychic playlists. There is one there and it says what is the difference between an energy and an entity. Energy is actually something that could be residual whereas entities are intelligent. Okay, An entity could be a ghost it could be a spirit coming in to say hi I haven't seen you for a while let me know I still love you okay so there you go so when we do spiritual protection that means that we are protecting ourselves from the external energies or entities that can interfere affect infest or attach to ourselves or our own energy so what I've got here today I've got my book which is called psychics explained and I'm going to read straight from this today chapter 10 which starts on page 87 and it's called protection here we go how often do I personally do protection I do it every single day and I'm and I'm actually being very honest with that. I do my protection when I first get up in the morning. When I'm making coffee, I will do protection. When I get in the car, I'll do protection. When I get out of the car, I do protection. When I'm feeding the cat, I do protection. I do protection every minute of every day because that's how important it is for me. Okay, so now back to my book. I do it when I'm about to take a phone call. I do it when I'm about to interact with someone. Because when we're on a phone call, even though we can't see the other person, their energy still comes through that phone and it can attach to us. You know when you're talking to someone and they're in a really foul mood? You're there. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Because it affects us. Because it's emotional connection at the end of the day, which is energy, which is frequency and currency. <gasps> Learning stuff every day, aren't we? Okay, let's go back to my book. Why? Because energy is everywhere and it is constant. We all know this if you did any sort of science in primary school. Every single individual has their own energy field. To be honest, not all these energies align with our own. Okay, so in that way, we must protect ourselves for other people's energies, other things energy. Even my mouse has energy. My water bottle contains energy. Even my phone. Oh my gosh, don't even start me with my phone. How much energy is on that? Okay, so here we go with some different ways of doing protection. Okay, let's just have a look here. I've got, uh, oh, there's heaps. Oh my god, there's four, there's five. My god, and then I go into Guardian as well. This is pretty damn into. I haven't read this book for a while because I don't have it in a hard copy. All right, so guys, let's just go there. If you do want a copy of this book, all you've got to do is email me and ask for it. It's called Psychics Explained. My email is below in the description and just say, hey, I want a copy of that book. In this book, I go through all the psychic abilities that we can get. I go through all the how to get them, how to get rid of them if you don't want them anymore. It's got heaps of commonly asked questions in there about psychics, okay? How to identify a fake one, okay? 
But right now, today, we're talking about the protection side, which starts on page 87. So let me just go to the end of this, just so you know. 87, it started, okay? And it goes to uh, 99. So that's 12 pages of protection techniques, okay? So I'm only going to go through a couple here today. And the reason why is because I don't want to say the person because they haven't given me consent, but I always generalize it. Someone emailed me and they said that they went to an antique store and they got really affected by the energy in the location. Hello? When you go around secondhand furniture, that furniture does retain all the energy associated to where it's been. Okay? Furniture talks to me constantly. My eight-seater pine dining room table, it woke me up at four o'clock in the morning and I had to go and buy it. And I knew the store, I knew where to go and I knew how much it was because it wanted me to buy it. So please know, furniture does retain energy, okay? So when with this person, they went into a secondhand, like an antique store, could have it been the building itself? Yeah, there's a lot of haunted houses out there, right? Let alone the person who's still living there. <laughs> because even buildings can retain that um, residual energy that can affect us when we go in there. Things that we get can be things like headaches. We could get migraines. We can get like spidey webs going through us. Um, you feel hot, cold spots, you get that sensation that you're going to throw up like nausea. And I explain all this in my book, Ghosts Explained. If you want that book, all you got to do is contact me. My email is below and ask for it, right? So let's get back to number one, words. I cannot emphasize enough how strong our words can be. This is straight from Page 87 in my book, Psychics Explained. I cannot ex emphasize enough how strong our words can be. Every single word that comes out of our mouth holds energy. The more conviction and emphasis we attach to these words, the stronger they become. Let's just do a little exercise, right? Let's just say right now you're sitting at home alone and five really beefed up men come to your house. They've got balaclavas on. And they're all holding weapons. Are you just going to go and say, "Oh, I hope that you don't like it. I don't. I don't want you here. Can you please leave today? I don't really. I really don't want you being here today." Or would you say, "Get out of my house!" Because that's how I'd be there. <laughs> so the more conviction and the more emphasis that we put on our words the better chance we have of our protection working, okay? Therefore, back to my book, therefore in any protection there must be words that mean what you want to convey to the universe or which stands for anything that we can't see. If there is a ghost in my house, these words are for you. If there's some energy here associated to anything else, this, these words are for you too, right? So some of these words could be used in sentences like free will, start again, free will and right. You know, like righteous. So this is number one. I have my own free will and right to be healthy today. I have my own free will and right to decide my own fate. Okay. The next two words that we might use are consent and permission. I give no consent and no permission for any other entity or energy, because there's a difference, go watch the video if you don't know, to invade my own personal space. I give no consent or permission for any other being from entering my home. I give no consent or permission for you to be here. So please leave immediately. But remember, we've got to put that conviction in there. So now let's say that again with a little bit of conviction, right? I give no consent and no permission for any other entity or energy 
to invade my own space. I give no consent or permission for any other being from entering my house. See how we now mean it when we're saying it, okay? Number three, I love this one, my house, my rules. What does this mean? It means that I am the legal owner of this house. Even though I rent, I pay legal money to stay here every every week, right? So therefore, I am the legal, legal occupier or owner of this house. So when I say to the universe, which is everything in this house, any energy, my house, my rules, guess what? Under universal laws, which I explain in five years of heaven, the teachings of heaven, I've got this one in hard copy, Okay, I've got all the universal laws here in the back, page 233. So, under my house, my rules, this is my house, my rules. As the legal owner of this property, I command that you leave immediately. Bingo. As soon as we say that, everything must leave in accordance with universal laws. If it doesn't, you know you got yourself something bad on your hands, okay? But the more we tell it to nick off, the better chance it has of going, okay? Light and love is the last one. Always be grateful, always be thankful, okay? This one says, I send you light and love as you leave my home. I fill my home with light and love. I remove all the negative from negativity from within this space and fill the space with light and love. So there's some four different ways of using words. You can make it your own when you make your own protection. Okay? So then we incorporate these words into our own unique way of saying what we want. An example of words as protection could be this example. Okay? You ready? I am the rightful owner of this house. So there's my house, my rules, right? I am the rightful owner of this house and I give no consent or permission for any other negative energy or entity to be in this space. I command that all negativity now leave as this is my house, my rules. And I have the free will who to stay to say who resides here. I send you away with light and love. And as you leave here immediately, please know that you are not welcome to come back. Bingo. That's all we've got to say. Something like that. Every time I wake up, I said I wake up and I say it. I give no parental permission to anything to invade me today. If there's any energies of anxiety, any um, any energies today that are trying to make me feel sick, nick off. My house, my rules. This body is my house. So you have no right to invade my space. Nick off right now. I only fill myself with happiness, love and kindness. What a great way to start the morning every day when I say that to myself. I only I only want to be kind. I want to be calm and I want to be tranquil today. So any energies on my that wants to invade me and try and make me anything other, uh, you can nick off right now. I give you no right or permission. Nick off and you must leave immediately. Okay? Thank you so much, but you're not welcome. Okay, so there you go. I do it as I go into a shopping centre, which I'm explaining now on page 89 in my book. Every time I go into a shopping centre, before I even get out of my car, I say, as I enter this shopping centre, I give no right or permission for anything inside, anything inside, entity or entity, to attach to my mind body soul spirit or energy field you have no right to attach to me today nick off i give you no power i give you no strength (laughs) this body is my house and it's my rules nick off and go away and as i come out of the shops i say anything that has attached to me today you've got no right to stay on me you've got no right to follow me home i give you no permission to get into my car nick off right now See how easy it is? Okay. So number two, we do an aura protection. Oh, so I've got uh, four ways there to do aura protections. Okay. Oh, 
Ne yep, yep, yep. All right, I know where this one is. Yeah, Aura. What a great one that one is. Okay, that goes over three pages. Number, th number three, we have a protection bubble. Okay. Number four, we have natural protectors, which include things like sage, crystals, and salt. So I show you, I teach how to do all this in my book. Number five, we have angelic protection. Yay! And then, last one, using all five in total protection. Wow. All five. Incorporate all five techniques. Okay? So I say it here. So now that we have identified the five different ways of protection, as protecting ourselves... That should be protecting ourselves. Uh -huh. I just found a typo in my own book. We now incorporate all five techniques into one package. Whenever I'm about to leave my house, I instantly surround myself with the protection bubble. Then I say with conviction the words that I want to protect, what I want protection from. And sometimes I call in the archangels as I feel that they can assist me also. Yeah. All right, so I go into all that. And then I also say, what is guarding? Guarding is a form of protection that allows a person to put up a guard or a barrier around themselves in order to protect the information from being received by others. Whoa. I think I've just set it up in my book, right? It's out there. It's called Psychics Explain. So I've given you some hints today on how to do this for yourself. Okay? Google it. Don't just trust what I say. Go and Google it. How to do spiritual protection. But the big thing here is start doing it. Start teaching yourself. Start teaching your children. Even put it around your pets, your animals, your trees. Okay? Your trees deserve it as well. They're only living beings as well at the end of the day. I protect my tree so it grows healthy. I protect this fruit plant so it has the best quality fruit. See, we can do it for everything around us. Because the more we do it around us, <laughs> you know where it's, what's coming? The more we do it around us, the more it spreads to others. And then we are impenetrable. What's the word? Okay. Think of, I use the Captain America shield. And I also use Wonder Woman's bracelets. Think of what those things do. And then you're getting close to it. Okay. Hope you all have a great day. Hope this has taught you something. If you know somebody that needs this video, please share it with them. Press like and also subscribe to my channel. If you like today, you know, protection, you can go and do courses and they, they charge hundreds of dollars for this stuff. Email me and I'll teach you privately, one on one. And if you do want to help me to, um, support me, my PayPal link is below. Okay? Thanks again, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you all soon. Bye.